whenever we start learning computer programming language, our first program will be for displaying a message, otherwise printing something. Because it is the simplest form of code with a noticeable output. In VBA, we use message box function for displaying a message. And the message box function in VBA is rich with various options. Apart from displaying a message, it can be used for getting a response from the user and based on that, the program flow can be decided. And personally, I love message boxes. And the reason is, Hi everyone, I am Ajay here. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a simple message box, then how to change the title of a message box, how to use different buttons in a message box, and how to link the message box with our worksheet. Go to the VB editor, insert a module. I will name this macro as message box example. For displaying a message, we will use message box function for that msg box, then space. Now you can see the syntax of the message box and prompt part is active. You can see it in bold format and whatever we write here in the prompt part that will be displayed as a message. I will use hola amigos. It means hello friends in Spanish. Let's run the macro. Hola amigos. Now I will add one more sentence to the message. Greetings from excellent care. once again and that sentence is added now I want this sentence in a separate line for that vbcrlf is the keyword and for separating it from our message we need to use this double quotes ambassador sign of it and now you can see hola amigos greetings from excellent care the second sentence is in a separate line now about the second argument or second parameter in message book syntax you can see the first parameter was prompt second parameter is buttons then title help and then context except prompt all other parameters are optional Optional parameters can be identified from the square brackets around them. We can either define it or leave it as it is. And again, prompt part is mandatory and we have to define it and that becomes the message. And now second argument that is button and it is active now. And these are the list of available buttons and there are around 20 button styles. Here the default value is VB OK only. And this is the VB OK only button. Each button style has a specific purpose and it's a big topic. Different types of buttons for message box will be explained in another video. Right now, I will be using this yes no button. We are changing VB OK only to VB yes no. Now you can see the yes and no buttons in the message box. And when I click the yes button, it looks like nothing has happened, but the function has returned a value. Both yes and no buttons return separate values and these values can be used for deciding the program flow based on user selection. I will explain this with an example. I will write the code in such a way that based on the user response, the program will delete the contents of the active sheet. So I'm using message box. prompt part delete the contents from the active sheet comma now the button part v 
yes no enter when we click the yes or no button it will return a value but to use that returned value we have to store it somewhere so i will use this variable response for storing that value now an if condition if response equal vbs then cells dot clear end if i'll add some text here creating a copy of this go to the vp editor i will make this statement as a comment now let's execute the macro alt f8 so the message is delete the contents from the active sheet there are two options yes or no and first of all i will select no so nothing happened now once again alt f8 run yes so the contents of the sheet got deleted otherwise the program just cleared the contents from the active sheet alt f11 now i will use this no button for a different action for that i will change the code else if response equal vb no then cells dot font dot size 22 and if here you can see the font size is 11 and the program is written like if the user is selecting yes it will clear the cells and if the user is selecting no the font size will become 22 let's execute the macro hold f8 message box example delete the contents from the active sheet no and you can see the program just resized the contents Now about the third part of the argument. For that I am copying this message here. Add a comma. And you can see the title part is active now. When we execute this macro, you can see the title is Microsoft Excel. It's the default value. So, we will change it now. Add a comma. Now we can enter the title. For that double quotes, I will add Excel and here and execute it. So you can see the title changed to Excel and get. Message box can also be used for displaying the contents in our worksheet. For that In D4, we have excellent care. I will write the code like message box. Content in cell D4 is range D4.
value. Let's execute the macro and you can see content in cell D4 is excellent get. Now we will try to this number. The cell number is N8. I am copying this thing. N8. This D4 written here is just a part of the message and it can be anything. The cell referred here in these brackets matters. The program will return the value from that particular cell defined in the brackets. But anyways, I am changing this to N8, otherwise it will look awkward. Content in cell N8 is 96522-10541. I will show you one more thing regarding the second parameter in message book syntax. Here when we execute this program, this message box looks like a simple message and we won't feel like a question is asked. To make it more authentic, we will change the code. I am adding bb question to this code. Execute it. Now we have this icon of question mark which gives a different look to the message box. Now you know how to create a simple message box and you are also familiar with the message box syntax. By changing the parameters in the message box syntax, we can create different types of message boxes. Anyway, it's a pretty big topic and it will be explained in another session. So thanks for watching. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned. Have a nice day.